before starting the video, uh, I suggest you to join this uh, my WhatsApp group. I have created a uh, Zamri New I Design. I will share this group link in the description section. So uh, you can uh, you can uh, text here and you can share your problems and uh, all your thoughts here regarding only Zamri or mouth, not other thing. So. Uh, there are many texts. Uh, someone uh, is someone is share your problem. He got a solution. So in this way, you can uh, uh, you you can join this uh, WhatsApp uh, group and uh, you will uh, get uh, you uh, you will get solution and also you can share your knowledge. So I request all of you please join this uh, uh, group. Okay. Hi, hi everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Zamri New I Design. So, in previous video, we saw this login page and this register page, all the authentication page. So, after login, we also see this dashboard design, and uh, uh, I have added more uh, for uh, this uh, search. When you click on this search, new page will open, and uh, you can search uh, uh, everything here and uh, another thing i have also added here at the last uh, more so when you click on the more uh, this page will open okay so this is category page so uh, user can uh, select uh, from here so a uh, user can select from here and on the click of the button the uh, means this logic is pending that uh, when user click on the button this category uh, product will show uh, uh, based on this category so uh, today we will learn how to create this uh, category page and in the next video we will see uh, how uh, how to uh, display uh, uh, product this category wise or a uh, uh, cat UI for the category uh, sorry UI for the product so let's uh, begin so first of all uh, we will see a uh, search list page so uh, when you click on the uh, search so a new page will open color search product so this is simple uh, simple page this is the title bar it is by default it is navigation bar and this is a search text box and uh, the list it will be displayed is a this is a list view so it is very simple uh, we will see that so uh, i have taken grid view and uh, grid view have the search bar you can see that this uh, uh, grid view have the row definition auto for the search text box and the star for the list view to uh, to uh, take a uh, full width of the full area of the mobile and the uh, and this is search bar and the this is uh, list view so I have only how to show the uh, search uh, search of product. So I have set here. Uh, I have add. I have not created any template. I have directly add the label in the view cell. So if you want to add any uh, something uh, something a label or a, uh, only single item, you can directly add here. But best thing is. Uh, to create a template only but I have created here uh, uh, I have not created template I have uh, added a control in the view set if you want you can create a template okay after that uh, we will see in the uh, in the previous video we have uh, we have saw that more button was not there so we will see how to add more button so uh, uh, if you remember or you can go to uh, this uh, 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 this page this uh, video I have explained 
uh, each and every uh, control here how to add the uh, category and the offers and all the products for all the things so you can uh, refer to this video and uh, you if you are not uh, seeing this video then i suggest to see this video so you can understand what i am saying okay so first of all uh, in previous video we have not the uh, it was not there more button let's see how to add a more button so uh, I have not added in a category model okay I have not added here but instead of adding here I have added at a time of assigning a So uh, at the time, uh, at the time of uh, assigning uh, all the category, all the products to the, uh, sorry, all the category to the um, collection view, uh, I have added a uh, one more item for more. So uh, for first of all, I have created a variable, and variable I have get all the category. In the category, I have added a new category. Uh, called title and the image this image is three dotted image and added and assign that uh, categories to the items okay so first of all you have to take all the category then add the more uh, more more item so uh, it will add at the last of the uh, list okay if you add uh, uh, this one then get all the category then it will uh, not work so uh, do uh, is in this sequence so uh, this will uh, show the more uh, a mo mo a more uh, item here okay now when i click on this you saw that a new page will open so for that i have used focus event okay so when whenever uh, user uh, whenever this uh, search text box get focus then it will open a search product so search product is a new page as you see so it will go open the search product okay now whenever i click on the more uh, category uh, page will open okay so category page is this page so uh, let's see how it is created so first of all we look to the template uh, we look for the category template so uh, in in this template uh, I have added first stack layout and I have added padding here to show the space between the all the category okay and another is grid to uh, design the this template so in the grid I have added two column for a star is this and this is for auto and the column spacing is 20 to show the space between these two columns and then after I added frame this frame is this frame okay so uh, I have added uh, corner radius plus, uh, 10 and padding 0 because as you know frame has by default padding 20 so I have uh, I don't want to show uh, a space of 20 uh, in the round uh, rec uh, round rectangle so I remove all the space by adding padding is equal to 0 in the frame I have added grid which has again frame uh, uh, this uh, this whatsapp uh, message uh, you have seen this is the group I have created uh, this uh, I will share the link of the whatsapp group in the description section please uh, join this uh, whatsapp group uh, because there are uh, many lots of people 
them not lots of people but there are some people of uh, Zambrin. If you have any question, you can ask in the uh, WhatsApp group. And then uh, uh, everyone will discuss and uh, uh, you will get a um, uh, helpful answer. And it will be uh, very helpful if you share uh, something in this group. So uh, please join this group and, uh, and you, know, you will get uh, and share the knowledge. Okay. So uh, this is the uh, uh, frame, okay, uh, this is uh, this is frame and uh, in the frame I have added image to show this as a round, again I have set the corner radius 20 and the uh, padding 0, I want uh, Im image and the, uh, this text should be, uh, row, uh, this image should be row spawn to the uh, two row. So I have added respond to, okay, and the frame I have added image of uh, with the pen, uh, 70, with an height is equal to 70 and aspect is equal to 50. And uh, uh, this is uh, uh, a label for showing the title and the description. So you can add in the column 1 and this is row 0, row 1, okay. After that, I have added image. This is the image. Okay, so uh, simply added image for a, a grid column one, and I have keep a click event. So for the click event, image doesn't have a click event. So we will use gesture recognition recognizer. So this will uh, work. I think something is there. Uh, wait, we will check. Okay. Okay, now it is working. On the click event. I have used a, a, a bool uh, is selected variable. I have set as false because already it is false. First of all, it will be false. And uh, if it is selected, then the uh, this is uh, checked green color uh, image and this is a plus sign image. If it is selected, then show a check mark or it is uh, not selected, then show a plus mark. Okay, and uh, in the uh, in the end, you have to set is selected is not equal to is selected means if is selected is false, then it automatically will be true. Okay, so this is the logic behind the changing the is selected, and then after it will be gone. Okay, so uh, this is. Uh, uh, this is the how you can set your template. And after that, in the category, it is very simple. Uh, I have used uh, nav bar is visible false uh, to remove the navigation bar, and I have set a label to show a title. Okay, and there are uh, in the grid, I have added a three row definition this is 40 size, this is star, and this auto. So uh, in the in the second row, I had a list view and separate a visibility none because if it is default, then it will show the line here. To remove the line, then visibility will be none and has uneven rows is equal to two. It means it will take a a, a width of the row or uh, as per the size of the data. Okay, if it is false, then it will take by default 50. If your data is more than the 50, then it will only show uh, 50 means your data will cut. So if your uh, if your template is larger than uh, 50, then always use has uneven rows. But uh, it is good idea to keep uh, every time has uneven row because it will not affect the design if 
so the size of the data is less than 50 okay and the in item template i have uh, you have to use data template and in the view cell you have to add the category template and in the last uh, i added a done button so when user click on the done it will go to the product page it will show the all the product uh, according to the category but this all we will see in the next video so i hope uh, uh, you understand all these things and uh, i also show you that i have created a, a whatsapp group here Xamarin new design and uh, i'm sharing a, a latest and everyone is discussing here also everyone can uh, share the problem as we see and uh, uh, other will uh, help the other one so i suggest you uh, please uh, join the uh, uh, this group okay and uh, thank you bye bye please subscribe my channel bye